Memorial. Well, a controversial mine is getting closer to reality in Michigan near the Menominee River. A Toronto-based company wants to mine for gold, copper, zinc, and other minerals near the town of Stevenson. Today, the Menominee Tribe and Local 5 Steve Dent caught up with the tribe during their river walk to the site of that mine. The Menominee Tribe hopes a sacred walk will bring awareness. It doesn't matter where the water comes from. We have to keep it clean. About an open pit mine that would be located right next to the Menominee River. It's a far bigger issue than just a tribal issue. Uh, there's people up and down this, this river that uh, depend on the river. And more than just members of the tribe participated. This is our backyard. Completely tired of people ruining our water and ruining our playgrounds. It's, it's that simple. Joe Maki works for the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality. Uh, absolutely any industrial facility comes with environmental risk. Maki says they made a tentative decision to approve the mine after Aquila Resources Incorporated put together a plan to protect the environment. Um, and we're going to require them to put in a very uh, sophisticated water treatment plant and they're going to have to manage their waste on lined facilities similar to like a landfill. The mine will bring economic impact to the surrounding area with jobs and an estimated $20 million in tax revenue. I've talked with officials with Aquila Resource Incorporated who tell me they've been here in the back 40 since 2003 planning for the possibility of a mine and in no way have they damaged any cultural sites. But the tribe has concerns because their ancestors have lived on this ground for thousands of years. It's a sacred place to us and that's pretty much all we have left and then we want to keep it for the future. Something the tribe hopes to accomplish with every step on this 40 mile journey. Keeping it local in Menominee, Steve Dent, Local 5 News. Thank you, Steve. And a public hearing is scheduled for October 6th in Stevenson to allow the public to comment. And in Stevenson, the signs for and against the mine were about 50.